people often talk about uh, the research for a cure for various disabilities. But for many of us in the meantime, technology really is the cure. The works of Rory A. Cooper can be considered among the highest levels of humanity. Rory Cooper was born in 1959 in Los Angeles, California. In 1976, he enlisted in the U.S. Army, but his dream was cut short by a horrible accident in 1980 when he was hit by a bus while riding a bicycle in Germany. This left him with a spinal cord injury that paralyzed his lower body. His first wheelchair, a chrome behemoth, weighed over 80 pounds, making it difficult to load into a car. So when I got out of the hospital, I weighed a little over 100 pounds. So to give you an idea, it was almost as heavy as I was, uh, and it couldn't go, you know, I didn't go anywhere. Dr. Cooper believed that he could build better wheelchairs and thus focus on developing better assistive technology. He then attended California Polytechnic State University to receive his bachelor's and master's degrees in electrical engineering. He later earned his PhD in electrical and computer engineering with a concentration in bioengineering from the University of California at Santa Barbara. After his studies, he founded the Human Engineering Research Laboratories, a joint center of the University of Pittsburgh and U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, where he and his team worked on aiding people with conditions like his operate independently. Together with his team, Cooper has developed special assistive technologies using cloud computing, artificial intelligence, laser rangefinders, and other advanced technologies to make life easier for veterans like him. It's really what is the level of technology that's needed to solve the problem. I've got a team of wonderful, dedicated, amazing people around me. He also tackled the design of racing wheelchairs, and despite the challenges he faced before the enactment of the Americans with Disabilities Act, he was able to compete in the Paralympic Games. Dr. Cooper has authored over 400 peer-reviewed articles and two books titled Rehabilitation Engineering Applied to Mobility and Manipulation, as well as Wheelchair Selection and Configuration. Despite all the recognition, Rory never did his good work for fame or accolades, but for compassion and humanity.